some set of jugs. I'm liking those, bitch. Look at that horny little fuck next to you. Oh no, he's not with you. He's still a horny little fuck. See, his head matches your tits. They're the last thing. Work it, girl. Now, are, who is this little thing? Are you together? Are you with this guy? Whoa, what a <coughs> blocker this aisle is, huh? Grab his dick across the aisle. Come on, do it. Don't do that, faggots. I did not say you. <laughs> if you wanted to grab that black guy's dick, shit, I could do it from here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> See, you are already better than those fucking faggoty pussies at 7 o'clock. See? <laughs> Actually, when I heard I was coming back to Albany, I said, really, do I have to? But you know what? <laughs> No, Albany's fine. It just is great to be fucking anywhere, let's be honest, except filming the shitstorm that is Celebrity Apprentice. <laughs> uh, just by round of smattering of applause, who watches The Apprentice? Anybody? Okay, well, the rest of you suck my dick, okay? <laughs> I was fucking fierce on that show. Wasn't I the best? I should have won that fucking thing, those assholes. I fucking tore everybody apart and fucking told everybody how it was. Because you go by Lisa's rules. That's what you do. Sadly, Donald Trump didn't want to, but it's okay. Fuck that ferret headed prick. What am I gonna do? <laughs> For 16 weeks, I studied it. I don't know what the fuck was going on up there. It was freaking horrifying. I'm like, okay, let me see. Is it real? Is it fake? Is it orange cotton candy? It was like a fox. It jumped on his head, wrapped the tail around, and around, and around. I thought the fuck I'd seen better hair on Susan Boyle's taint. No, seriously, I have. Never sit poolside with that bitch because it's a rude awakening. Talk about your Fifty Shades of Grey. But The Apprentice is fucking retarded. I hate every one of those goddamn cunts on that show. Every one of them should die of cancer or be ass so it eats them from the inside out. You know what? You know I'm just kidding. I fucking hate them all except one. There's one girl I got along with. Oh my god, she and I bonded. We still keep in touch. She's so nice. Clay Aiken. She is just... <laughs> Clay's fucked up though, man. Clay says some shit like the first day of taping. He sashays right up to me. And he's like, well, Lisa, I vanilla. Because he talks like that, like Blanche Devereaux from the Golden Girl. <laughs> well, Lisa, my claymates tell me claymates. Claymates! Are you fucking kidding me with that shit? If you want to picture a typical claymate, picture a 400 pound cunt from Utica. <laughs> with one tip cut off from the surgery so she has a place to fill with clay and a huge gunt. <laughs> Do you know what a gunt is? It's a gun and a cunt to melt it into one. So the pussy pillow is what we call it. It's green, right? So Clay really is like, my boy might stay a little because you make fun of me in your little comedy act. And honestly, I'm trying to think, what the fuck did I ever say about this guy? Because you know me, I love the queers, the ass pirates, the Hershey Highway Patrolmen, the Rectal Rangers, Turn Burglars, Dick Smokers, Lawn Jammers, Poo Pushers, Pillow Biters, Picker Fisters, Sperm Burpers, <laughs> Carson Daly, Ryan Seacrest, Tom Cruise, John Travolta, you fucking assholes getting jerked off in a massage boat. Hey, Clay reminded me what I said about him, and you know what? I think it was very loving. What's your name so I don't have to call you pink shirt fan? What's your name? What is it? Chris. Chris. <laughs> it's always renamed themselves with an S or two. Because S is good for extra list potential. <laughs> Chris. Do you even have a faggoty job that has an S in it? Come on, you know you're a stewardess. <laughs>
Lisa William Masseuse, his faggots make the best stewardesses, oh my god. They always give you extra peanuts because they're not trying to fuck you, they don't care how goddamn fucking fat you get. And they always walk down that fucking aisle with that drink cart and they're working it like a bird. <laughs> yes. Yes. So anyway, what's your faggoty job? What do you do? Guess it's clerk. <laughs> Work. I'm scared of this couple right here because they are like, what the fuck are we saying? <laughs> you two, you two, are you okay? Do you want to, no, 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 those two. Those two seem fine. You two seem very disappointed with what's happening tonight. <laughs> Talk about disappointed. And the first show, there was a lesbian who said she wouldn't want to lick me. Is that fucking no. <laughs> You know, because I was just joking around, and I'm like, oh, you'd like me, right? She's like, no. I'm like, fuck you, you scrub scout fucking cunt, fucking ice road trucker dyke. Get the fuck out of here. I'll just kill you. I'll just kill you right now. Are you guys okay? Are you having fun? Because that would be fantastic if I had some way of fucking telling. <laughs> You notice the one fucking person who's like, really, 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 really? John Stamos had his E True Hollywood story on tonight, and I fucking missed it. This fucking cunt. I did his heart, I don't give a fuck, because that's how I roll. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. But I snort, I do it all. I fucking check this shit out, you all, but he fucking assholes. Damn, whatever they have up here, mold, I found allergies. Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? Fucking asshole, I can't take it. I'm not a lady, and I don't give a shit, Specs. You know what I'm fucking talking about, motherfucker? Hey, I'm a certain type of lady. I'm a fucking acquired taste, you know what I mean? But let me tell you something. You guys heard of a three input girl? I ain't one of those fucking cunts. I'm a three output girl. I can burp, fart, and queef at the same time. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. Oh, yeah. That's right. That was number six since I got up here. Just fucking take that in, bitches. What the fuck was I talking about before these two fucking stiffs distracting me with their the hate stares? Oh, this is just. He got me these fucking tickets for Hanukkah and. Uh, this, I said, when is Kathy Griffin coming to town? <laughs> I know, and she said yes, she said that. You're lucky I fucking like Kathy Griffin, that skinny redhead cunt, or I'd fucking murder you, you little twat face. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell we'd be friends, I can tell. But she's a cunt too, just like me, she don't give a fuck. So listen. What was I talking about? Oh, Clay, thank you. Who just said that? I love you. Are you the note taker? Thank you very much. Thank you. Listen, let me tell you something. This fucking Clay, he don't like me. I can't fucking figure it out. Because all I said about him, faggots, please judge Chris. Chris, 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 Chris. What's your boyfriend, black guy's name? What's black fag's name? Ulysses. Fucking three. <laughs> The guy who won the Civil War, which happens to be a good war for you black people, because I saw that movie Lincoln. I'm like, how the fuck do we lose that boat? I had no idea. Okay, Lady well, Ulysses and Chris. <laughs> how, gay. how gay is that? Have you ever heard anything gay? Or have you, Larry the Cable Guy's retarded cousin? Have you? Okay, what do we got? This is all I said about playing Ulysses. Please judge for me. If this is bad. And all I said was, remember, oh, but this is a joke about Clay when he came out. Remember when Clay came out of the closet and we were all like really shocked? <laughs> I had said, oh, Clay Aiken's gay. What a surprise. Clay Aiken. The only thing Aiken is Clay's ass. <laughs> Very nice, right? The list is in crest. The list is in crest. <laughs> then Clay goes to me, no, no, no. There was another one that you put out on the Twitter. Now oh, fuck this Twitter shit. By the way, has anybody tweeted to me in this audience? Yeah, yeah, guess what, I didn't read it, so. Every 
like famous people who tweet to me, I don't fucking read yours because they're mean. Some people are never fucking happy. If you want to tweet something nice to me, tweet it and I'll fucking read it. But I have my assistant go down the fucking list of your fucking evil tweets and she deletes them all and I get a report at the end of the day and she said 100% of the people love you. Twitter by some horny little fucking nip Japanese motherfucker who wanted to combine the words tit and twat into one word because that's the fucking Japs are the horniest fuckers you ever saw in your life with the little feet and the little Shut the fuck up, George Takei. Just shut the fuck up. that I found fucking hilarious, and he took offense to. You know what is? <laughs> Judge. Backstory on the joke, by the way. Remember when Lady Gaga <laughs> was gonna put out a perfume? She said she wanted it to smell like sperm and blood. I know, right? Could you fucking try too hard, cunt? Shut the fuck up, wear some meat, get the fuck out of my life. <laughs> So I tweeted out a little joke, Chris. It said, Lady Gaga <laughs> is going to have a perfume that smells like sperm and blood. If I want to smell sperm and blood, I'll punch Clay Aiken in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what it looks like when people are laughing. innocent lady in the world right there. Row four, red sweater, looks like an innocent fucking little Stepford cunt, but she's a total woman who gets a sperm in the blood job. Is that your husband next to you? Don't let him get on the bottom. I mean, the top. See, yeah, I fucked it up. See, it was mean, and God got me back like you fucking understand any words except get her done. Come on. God doesn't want me to be mean to people. You know who God is, Ulysses? That guy who's not letting you faggots get into heaven. That's your abomination. You know who's a real cunt is uh, Mrs. Dog the Bounty Hunter. She's just... I'm in a big Twitter war with her. Did you know you know who that is? <laughs> I fucking hate that whore for two reasons. Can I tell you why? First of all, she's a fake phony fraud. I'm fucking real, okay? I fucking tell you the truth. Well, let me tell you something. Beth says she has 38 triple G tits. Uh, guess what? She does not. She takes 18 pair of spanks and wraps them around that muffin top and pushes that fucking fat into the bra. Bitch. Those are my tits, that's love handle, you honey boobers, mama looking scam. You sound and you sound shit. God, you know you're white trash when this guy laughs and says, You white trash, I think. So what, dude, I'm gonna tell you something right now. You know what else I hear about that fucking Beth Skank? She fucking can't take a joke. Now, P.S. P.S. P.S.S. If you're gonna follow me on Twitter or you come to a show, you know you have to take a joke, right? We're all the same. We're all joking around. Well, that fucking whore can't take a joke. She's all serious. She's a very serious person. 